care children. Uh, in the previous classes, we have learned how to find out percentage, how to convert ratio into percentage. And in the same chapter, we have profit and loss, which is a very important topic. And uh, as your textbook doesn't contain much about the problems on this, so it will be given work outside the textbook. Okay, so you, uh, you have to know that. But still, all those exercises given of the textbook are very important for your exam. So I want you to go through each and every exercise, whatever we have done, whatever you have written down in your notebook, you have to learn it very clearly, okay? So what is profit and what is loss? In our daily life, profit and loss plays very important part, okay? So you all know what is when you go to the shop, you buy something and you give the money and for the shopkeeper, they are earning profit by selling all those goods, okay? So, what is profit and what is loss? Whenever, whenever uh, you are selling, whenever you are selling, you are selling it for profit. You don't want to make loss, isn't it? So, in order to make profit, you will have to sell any article more than the cost price in order to earn a profit. Okay? So, what is selling price and what is cost price? Selling price is the money you get from selling any article or goods. And cost price is the money you get from the money you paid for buying any article. Is that clear? So, selling price is the money you get from selling the article. And cost price is the money you paid to the shopkeeper for buying the article. Is that clear? So, you have to be careful you have to be clear about what is selling price and what is cost price, okay? Then, you have these important formulas, which you will have to write it down in your notebook. Write it down very clearly, and I want you to learn it by heart as well, okay? Without knowing all these formula, you will not be able to solve the problems given to you on profit and loss. Is it clear? So, I will pause this again. And then you will write it down in your notebook. It must be written down first in your notebook before doing any exercise. Okay? So, let me explain first what is profit percent, loss percent. Profit is selling price minus cost price. When you subtract the cost price from the selling price, you get profit. And then, when you subtract Cost price from selling price, you get loss. That means here, the selling price is less than the cost price. Suppose you buy one pencil for 5 rupees. Then you want money so much. And then you sell it again for 3 rupees. The pencil you bought for 5 rupees is sold again at 3 rupees. That means you are making a loss, isn't it? A, a loss of 2 rupees. So... In case of loss, you will subtract the, co the selling price from the cost price. And then when you are going to find out the profit percent or the loss percent, out of 100, how much is your profit? How much is your loss? You will have to divide the profit by CP into 100. Okay? Then loss percent, loss by CP into 100. So in order to find out the loss percent or the profit percent, you must always know what is the cost price. Even if the cost price is not given in the, te uh, in the question, you will have to find out the cost price first. Okay? And then here, selling price is equal to cost price plus profit. When you are going to find out the selling price, you will add the cost price and the profit. Or when there is loss, you will subtract loss from the cost price. Then, 
when you are going to find out the cost price, you will subtract profit from selling price or add loss to the selling price. This is how you have to find out the selling price or cost price when profit or loss is given. Then here, in this case, to find out the selling price or cost price when the profit percent or loss percent is given. Profit percent or loss percent is given and no, and, uh, and no cost price. Then, you will have to find out the selling price here. Then, 100 plus the profit percent divided by 100 into CP. Or, when there is loss, you will subtract loss from 100 divided by 100 into CP. And then, cost price is... 100 by 100 plus profit into selling price or 100 by 100 minus loss into selling price. So all these formulas are very important uh, which you have to uh, memorize it and know it very clearly. Otherwise, you will not be able to solve any problems on profit or loss. So in order to be uh, able to solve each and every problem, you have to know the formulas first. Okay? So, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Today, I will explain only how to find the loss or profit percent. How to find the profit or loss percent. Profit and gain is same. In some questions, the, the question may be given as gain. It is same as profit, okay? Don't get mixed up. It is, the meaning is same. Gain or profit is same. Okay? Let me give you an example. Suppose, cost price is 250 rupees. Then, the selling price is 300 rupees. Okay, look at here. Here, the cost price is 250 and the selling price is 300. Is there profit or loss? When the selling price is bigger, that means there is profit, isn't it? Then you will find out the profit. Profit is selling price minus cost price. Then that means the profit is 50 rupees. Then if when you are going to find out the profit percent, 50 by CP is 250 into 100. This and this, 25 for That means 5 for zero is 20%. The profit percent is 20%. Okay? Then, when there is loss, let's say, cost price is 200 and selling price is 150. Here, the selling price is less than the cost price. That means there is loss. The thing which you bought for 200 is sold for 150 rupees. So you will find out the loss first. Loss is 200 minus 150 is 50 rupees loss. Then to find out the loss percent, loss by CP into 100. Then 2 into 25. That means the loss percent is 25%. This is how you have to find out. This is how you have to find out uh, the loss or profit percent. And then, in case, suppose the selling price is 300 rupees and there is a loss of 50 rupees. Loss 50 and selling price. Here you have to find out the profit or loss percent, isn't it? In order to find out the profit or loss percent, the thing which you must have is the cost price. Here we don't have the cost price, isn't it? Then let us find out the cost price first before finding out the loss percent. Then if the selling price is 300 is loss, cost price is selling price plus loss, isn't it? That means the cost price is 350. Now, as we have the cost price, you can find out the loss percent. Then, loss percent is 50 by 350 into 100. This and this, 
five seven five two then hundred by seven is seven one is seven thirty seven four is twenty eight two by seven percent this is how you have to find out even if the cost price is not given you can find out if it is profit here then you will subtract from the selling price Sell, uh, selling price minus profit is the cost price okay this is how you have to do i will explain this much and uh, your work is going to be given outside the text most of the work will be given outside the text as, as there is only around three questions in your textbook so in order to understand the whole process of profit and loss you have to know each and everything so you will go uh, we will go outside the text mostly for your exercise okay so i want you to watch the video clearly and <coughs> the formulas which are uh, which i will uh, be posting it again you will have to write it down in your notebook along with your today assignment okay thank you